This is a big deal for our outdoors men and outdoors women aiming to make king fishing great again. The old school kingfish shootout kicks off in just about two weeks. So joining us now to talk about this, Paul Dozier. He is the tournament organizer, lifelong fisherman here in our area. Yes, sir. And this is really cool. So look, we, we've got a couple kingfish tournaments in northeast Florida. This one out of St. Augustine, and there are a lot of people who take part in it. Yes, sir. A lot of people participate. We actually have boats fishing from, they can fish from Fernandine all the way to Ponce Inlet, which is the Daytona area. Uh -huh. But uh, we've been lucky to have uh, five or six hundred boats the last two years participate. Five or six hundred. That is quite the undertaking to it's see a, that many crews out there <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of work my wife lauren she she works she wakes up at four o'clock in the morning and enters all these people and and then on tournament day it's just a lot of chaos and everything but it's very exciting and very fun what's the reason for something like this well uh i've been fishing tournaments my entire life and uh we've been lucky enough around here to have good fishing and about 20 years ago, the fishing changed where boats got bigger and people started going long ways yeah. and buying bait. And, and we decided to come up with an old school where you could fish close to shore and a level playing field and the fishermen really reacted. So what are the limits? Well, what what are you looking for? Just a couple miles from shore? Yeah, three miles out. There's okay. Florida State waters only. Mm -hmm. And the, the boundaries, like I said, are the St. Mary's River to Ponce Inlet. All right, all right. And, and that kind of levels the playing field because not everybody is able to have one of these boats with you know four engines right. that can go 80 miles an hour. That's, that's correct and also you can't buy bait, purchase uh -huh. live bait. Uh, so you got to catch the pogies you to, yourself? You have to catch your own pogies. That's on the hardest part. <laughs> on tournament day, yes sir, on tournament. You can, you can use, uh, you can buy dead bait, ribbon fish and stuff like that but uh, lines are in at seven, lines are out at three. It's very family friendly. We have tons of families fishing together and uh, first place was a hundred thousand dollar yellowfin boat. So Wow. That is not bad. <laughs> it makes me want to enter. Yes, sir. So I've got to ask you this. I mean, we're looking at some of the video here of, of some of the catches yeah. from previous years. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at weight-wise with these king mackerel? I think those are 30, those are 35 pound class fish right there that we're looking at right now. Uh, all ladies there fishing. You know, you get these teams together. This is a budget fishing tournament with a great payout. So. You know, you can go fishing with a family or friends and, and not spend thousands of dollars and have a chance to win a real prize. You said $250? $250 early, early entry. The, uh, the deadline's May 31st, then it goes up to $350. Another thing we do that's awesome, Vic, is, is we have a, uh, if you catch a fish, you get entered in a uh, drawing, and we're going to pull a number out of the awards, and somebody's going to win ten grand. Wow. Even if you catch a 10-pounder, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> 10 grand for a 10-pounder, not too right. bad. If people want to find out more and, and sign up early, what do they do? Oldschoolkingfish.com, or if you want to pay with cash uh, or check, you can go by Strike Zone Fishing on Beach Boulevard. All right, absolutely. Paul, thanks for coming on. Thank Good luck you. to everybody out there, and, and certainly we want to make sure that everybody is safe as well. We'll be right back.